Okay, hello everybody and welcome. So pack one, pick one. We have Bolus of Citadel, which is fine, Tangier's Epiphany, and Opnixilus. I think Opnixilus is quite good. I think he's first pickable. Yeah, I think it's between Opnixilus and like Tangier's Epiphany. Opnixilus is quite strong. All right, now we have an evolution seed, which is very sick. There's also a spark harvest to stay on curve, uh, sorry, on color. The evolution seed can take over you though. Let's, let's take the higher power level card. Okay, now we have a bleeding edge, which is perfect. Taking it over a Paradise Druid, goes well with Evolution Sage as well. Creates an army that you can uh, proliferate every turn, you can drop a land. So other things I'm looking for is Pollen Bright Druid. I'm also looking for uh, Dread Balkan for this type of deck, Toll of the Invasion, anything that makes uh, army tokens basically. Okay, now it's just, I think, uh, Herald. Best card in the pack for us. Maybe the best card in general. Just really efficient, really solid. So we still don't know what our second color is. We're not seeing too many green cards that are worth taking. Uh, let's see what else we get past. Take five. Okay, we could take eight to four. We could also take Angloth's Angloth's rampage and speculate on red. There's also an Alvin's Wolf, which is quite good. Hmm. This is tough. Let's take the Wolf. All right, we're continuing to just be past top end. Take another Herald. I can also take a Gateway Plaza, but I like taking a Herald here. It's pretty clear. I like to take more of my colors. That's a really neat spell board drill. I think we have to take it. It's the best card by far. I think, uh, I guess we could take a third Herald. Maybe let's take the third Herald. I don't mind having three of these in my deck, and I'm definitely black. Uh, Shriek Diver, sure, over Storm's Thirst. We don't have any early plays. Maybe we do need a Storm's Thirst, but I, I'm really down on the card. I think Shriek Diver is better. We'll find like a Dust Mantle operative, worst case scenario, and we'll get some problem by Druids. Like, all right, so the reason to take Herald is if like, Herald of the Dreadhorn is your only uh, is your only three drop. Then you know, so be it. All right. Well, now we'll take a bol uh, bolus to Citadel. I think the power level on this card is high enough to where you can take it, and we're we're pretty pretty heavily black. So Guild Globe lets us splash. Um, still no early plays. Guess we'll take Elizabeth Behemoth. Hard to remember. Uh, Redemption. Prison Light. Light like Create. Okay, so far, pretty good pack one. We could end up being just mono black, <laughs> potentially. Well, I can't pass this card. It's too strong. I mean, with Bleeding Edge, yeah, we have to take it. Again, my, my, 
My drafts are looking like repeats of each other. I don't know why. I keep opening widespread brutality. I keep taking it, and I always, I'm always happy <laughs> that I get it. So we could take Sahili. I think I'd rather just have maybe like a Lazatap Reaver. I need some early plays, and Lazatap Reaver combos well with uh, widespread brutality or evolution sage. At this point, I need to start thinking about uh, my my curve as well. So that's even though there were like unpowered better cards in that pack, uh, I still I still think Lazatap Reaver is the pick. Here, however, I'm tempted to take Ashiok. Ashiok wins games. I'm taking Ashiok over Lazatap Reaver, and I'm going to be really happy about it. We can also go off with like. Uh, Evolution Sage and Ashiok. Here we might take a Leyline Prowler. Or a Pollen Ride Druid. I don't think we can play Living Twister. Boy, this is tough. I think I still need to take Leyline Prowler. This card just does everything. And God help us if we find a way to put a counter on it. So maybe just a Grizzly or a Dusk Mantle Operative. Ugh. Could also take Domery's Ambush. No, I'll just take a Grizzly. Let's, let's stick to a color. Wow, we just can't get any early plays, can we? Uh, Band together. Works with Lane Line Prowler. Still no early plays. Guess Spark Reaver. <laughs> Another Herald of the Dread Horde. So Iron Bully potentially can work with uh, Evolution Sage. I'm fine taking this. Dust Mantle Operative is a random two drop. Here's my, I'm gonna take Widespread Brutality out for now because I'd rather not take up a slot with like Gil Globe. And I think we'll get enough playables for these two colors. We just need a couple of two drops, maybe like two more Laz Lazatap Reavers and our deck's solid. Yeah, our win conditions are like Ashiok, Bolas of Citadel, and Diver, I guess. Also, I mean, anything anything that we can get going with Evolution Siege as well, of course. So unless I open like a bomb red rare like uh, Sarkhan or something like that, it's unlikely that I'm gonna move off green. Uh, Stinger is fine. Is Ghost Form or the Hound? Let's take Ghost Form. Well, this is pretty easy. So I probably don't want to play Iron Bully. I probably don't want to play four of these. I think three is fine. Probably don't want to play Carl Stinger. I think we can improve all these cards. Spark Reaver also, not, not, not sure how I feel about this. I guess I could sack the Heralds and stuff. Wow, kind of a weak pack. Again, no two drops. Only a total of the invasion, which I'm actually happy taking this thing. This card wins games. 
So maybe we can get like uh, Raska. Raska would be good for us. I also played a 2 4 to gain 3 life when it hits the battlefield because this is more of a controlling build. Uh, more 3 drops. Well, New Horizons lets us splash widespread brutality, I guess, with a Guild Globe. Let's take a I mean, the plus one, plus one counter also works with uh, Evolution Sage, so it's not, not the worst. Mana Geode, more three drops. Probably take Grizzly out. Yeah, this could be this could be like a one build. Spark harvest, easy one. All right, well now it's there's just no room for it. Our deck's too good. Wow, another Leyline Prowler and a Lazatap Reaver. All right, I think I have to take a Lazatap Reaver. We just need early plays at this point. Like our deck is already solid. Wow, Death Sprout. Liliana's Triumph is probably better than a Dusk Mantle Operative. Soren's Thirst is fine. All right, all right, we got a deck. We got a decent deck. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually happy with the way that this, this uh, worked out. Spark Reaver, I think, is going to be a stud. And I want to make room for a Snare Spinner, actually. Wow, last big Wayland Prowler? Oh, my lord. That is such a gift. I cannot believe this card wield. All right, so then we could probably take out, like, Diver, a Wolf. This is going to be, this is going to be difficult two picks, or right, two cuts. Maybe Leyline Operative. How good is New Horizons, really? Not that good now. Probably cut it. Yeah, we got nine things to proliferate onto. We could consider making room for like all the cards that have uh, plus one plus one counter interactions. So let's see how many of those we have. Uh, and New Horizons. So we would, I mean, if we're doing this, we would be doing it only for Evolution Sage and that's it. I don't think that's quite good. Um, we could cut like a Shriek Diver, I guess, for New Horizons, but go to like 11 creatures doesn't seem very good. Maybe Iron Bully is good in this deck. With the Leyline Prowlers, I think we can do this and take out like maybe a Shriek Diver. Because it's not, I mean, it's mediocre, whereas the other cards have synergy. Okay, let's try like this.
I think 10.7 is better because of the line prowler. I mean, if we can play that, we can play anything. So let's see. Let's see how this deck does. I'm happy we got two last tap readers. Band together should be fine. Auto as well should be fine. Sparkly, we can cash in. Uh, well, I mean, honestly, like, we, we don't even need to play. Uh, Sparkly, but we could just put like on um, Vivian's Grizz in the side, which kind of does the same thing. Yeah, I think like if we need a mana sink, Grizz is just a better mana sink. And with Death Sprout and Leyline Power, we actually have access to a ton of mana. So I think over the, over the course of the game, it could, it could do more work and it synergizes more with what we're doing. So let's run it like this instead. Do I want to play first with this deck? I don't think I do. I think I want to be on the draw. This is more of a controlling deck with a bunch of removal and, uh, you know, win cons like Ashiok. So I think this is better. Last attack reader is perfect. Okay, honor the God Pharaoh, that's fine. So let's see. Um, let's play Lazar Tap Reaver and attack. Bio Essence Hydra. Okay, well, we can kill that with uh, Band Together at some point. Or Casualties of War, whichever. I mean, if he plays like a five loyalty Planeswalker, it's a problem. That's like a, you know, eight, eight, or nine, nine if you play something big right now. This could be bad. Ouch. So 10 10 trample. Can I block it? Oh, 11 11. I'm sorry. We're actually fine. I mean, if we can survive with casualties of war, like if he doesn't play Plains Walker here, should be okay. All right, so let's say he's got uh, band together. This thing has trample, so let's assume that. So I need to block like like this to play around uh, the removal spell.
I'm just dead, right? With fire, okay, okay. So it's consumed. Maybe so in Thurs instead of Bolas' Citadel. I just don't see us winning with Bolas' Citadel against this deck. Um, yeah, I'll try with this. Ugh, come on. Come on, deck. Okay. So I'm gonna run out Leyline Prowler over Evolution Sage. So let's go Bleeding Edge, I guess, to start going off with Evolution Sage at some point. Let's pass. So all of the invasion is a good one. I think I'm going to run it out here. Let's see, Arlen, Hardfire. Let's take out Arlen. And uh, let's pass. So he's got Hardfire and the Spell Gorger. So next turn we can cast uh, casualties. We have a couple of options. We can kill the nurture and the island. Take away his uh, mana fixing. I think that could be good. Rather than killing spell gorger, because the leyline prowlers can trade with spell gorger to an ogre's fine. I can get a land, so I'll have to have both my line powers. I guess I could also just like if I get a land, I could play uh, Grizzly Evolution Sage and put a counter on Zombie Army. That could also work. Okay, so let's go. One, two, three, Evolution Sage. Land. Proliferate. Okay. So one more land, I have access to eight mana turn, I can double grizzly every turn. So that could be that could be a win condition. So now I'm glad I, I sideboarded this sim uh or I main deck this over this park river. Put fire, okay. Probably a mistake to kill the zombie, I'm gonna be honest.
Another half fire, okay. That makes a bit more sense. Okay. Iron Bull is good. All right, let's proliferate onto power. Okay, now I think we can, now we can probably casualties. So let's go casualties. Let's go creature and land. Let's pick uh, gorger and island. I guess I should have attacked with Iron Bowie also. That was a mistake. Okay. Maybe Crosslinger makes the cut over like Harlan's Wall. Is this thing intrigued with a huge uh, spell gorger? Okay, that's actually a really good opening hand. I wish we had a evolution stage instead of putting Vivian Scrisley, but I'll settle for this any day. So I'm doing, uh, Burning Prophet can attack now. I can't double block it, unfortunately. And opponent discards Dovin, interesting, okay. So next turn I can go like Iron Bully and Raza Tap Reaver, for example, putting a counter on Leyline Prowler. Spell Gorger. New Horizons, okay, okay. I still can't attack. But I'm happy to block. Actually, I guess he could attack. I'm happy to. Well, actually, I don't really need to block, do I? With lifelink, I can, I can easily raise this.
Okay. So let's go Reaver. Bully putting the counter on Prowler. And I think we just pass. I guess this is Arlen. Let me just spark harvest her. Oh, finale of devastation. With three. Okay. That doesn't seem that scary. It's a foil one. Wow, I wonder what a foil one is worth. Nah, it's not that much more. It's like 12 tickets versus eight. Yeah, I remember there was a time in uh, Guilds of Ravnica where people were passing foil and mnemonic betrayals, not realizing they're worth like 20 something tickets. That was that was funny. That was a funny time. All right, so let's do total invasion. See what we're working here. Okay, so yeah, Arlen, Arlen is out. That's the one that can do most damage. And let's bleeding edge spell gorger now. And we can attack with zombie army. If you want to trade for turret over, that's fine. Because with spark harvest, we have a good attack next turn. No blocks. Okay. I think now we just kind of sit back and keep activating Vivian's Grizzly, trying to find Ashiak. Or even uh, Obnixilus, just to, you know, put a clock on our opponent. Yeah, it makes sense that he's, you know, kind of two for one himself to kill Grizzly because he sees that this is uh, one way that I can just take over the game. Let's see if he wants to attack with Ogre. I don't think he does. I don't think he wants to race me. Okay, that's a good one. So we're going to get our opponent quite bad here. So let's go destroy land and creature and enchantment. So what we're going to do is we're going to destroy new horizons and an island and the turret ogre. So choose target creature, ogre. Enchantment, New Horizons, and land. <laughs> okay, we didn't even wait for me to cast it, but fine. Uh, I think we want to be on the draw again. Yep, this is fine. Bolus' Citadel is a bit awkward in this opening hand, but. Snare Spinner is going to become a 2-4 of Iron Bully. And that should hold us over. Iron Bully into Evolution Sage is also really good. In which case, I'm going to put the counter on, <coughs> on Iron Bully because it's uh, less susceptible to being bounced. Well, all right, now I'm going to put on Snare Spinner because he can block Naga Eternal. So hopefully this holds. 
And if we get Kala's dismissal here, then so be it. All right, right on time. So let's go Evolution Sage. Hopefully we dodge a counter spell. Oh boy. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but that's all right. Kind of a two for one. We're just passing. So far, we still don't know what second color our opponent's playing. Tamiya's Epiphany is fine. So I think I'm just going to slam Ley Leyline Prowler because this puts me one land away from uh, Volus' Citadel. One Swamp to be exact. And I'd rather save... <coughs> I'm going to save my removal for whatever opponent finds with the Tamir's Epiphany. No reason to kill anything that's on the board right now. Perfect. Yeah, so next turn we're slamming Citadel and hopefully we can win off that. Uh -huh. okay, let's cast swamp. I guess we want to kill the 1-4. So Lazitap Reaver. All of the invasion. Take out, uh, let's see, Spark Double or Cures Dam Breaker. Let's take Spark Double. I don't want to make a copy of Sahili. And I guess we should attack. So. Let's kill Sahili. Not kill, but you know what I mean, do some damage. All right, so Bolus's Citadel did a lot of work. We can take care of Kira's Dam Breaker with a Death Sprout. And the Proliferate is annoying, but still, I'd rather not uh, deal with Double uh, Sahili. Ooh, Asha looks good. Yeah, let's just play Asha and start milling. I'm not playing. Uh, I'm Nixilis. I don't mind gaining some life though, so I think now I'm gonna I'm gonna pass. Wait, did I forget to mill? I forgot to mill. 
All right, globe. Wow, opponent really is playing mono blue. Yeah, I'll actually have to death sprout the Sky Theater Strix because that's what's really um, <laughs> Because that's what's really a risk for me right now. I guess I should play Obnixos. Okay. This is really not a problem at all. Okay, so let's go mill for two. Let's uh, kill the Drake. And let's pass. I mean, so far it looks like we're really matched up well against this mono blue deck because I'm not sure he's got seven cards. We've seen pretty much the whole deck commence the end game, I guess, is the biggest threat. And spark double is like mediocre because this whole deck is mediocre. So if he sparked up doubling uh, not good internals, it's not going to win him the game. Okay, another dam breaker is fine. Not a big issue. So Stinger comes in, Wolf goes out. <clears throat> Snare Spinner. I still want early stuff for the for the counters and stuff. Lazatep Behemoth could be good in this deck. Okay, let's let's run it back like this. I think I think we're good. Yeah, this looks like a decent enough keep on the draw.
Reaver's a good one. Evolution Sage is also a good one. If we can find a forest, we can start uh, proliferating onto the army. Okay, so let's go to the invasion, see what we're dealing with. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to leave the fairy story twist, I guess, or not. No, let's take it out. On it. This, this is fine. All right, and then let's tax the healing. Him dealing five to me really doesn't matter. Granko, oh no. We need to kill this thing. Hey, what do you know? And let's, whoa, that's it, really? Okay, that was pretty easy. <laughs> he tops that top deck Skranko, I top deck uh, Bleeding Edge, seems fair. All right, welcome to the finals. I still don't want to be on the plane. All right, Ashiok into Evolution Sage could be something. If we get some Lazatep Reavers to defend early on. Okay, operative. Crawler's a good draw. This shuts down our operative. Oh, he's got something, huh? All right, well, let's see what you got. Again, with Aid the Fallen. Ah, really? Okay, I'm happy with that. And that is a straight up two for one. So, let's see. Harold? Harold? For some reason, uh, I have the, the name Harold is associated with an old lady angrily calling her, her husband for dinner. All right, I see you got one too. All right, so we're not going to play a land. I'm going to offer the trade here. And see if he takes it. Okay, perfect. Because now we go evolution stage land proliferate. All right. 5-5. Five, five. Do I want to double block? No, because I can just band together. I am taking 7, though. 7 is a lot. He's down to one card. I can maybe get back, like, the mainline power and I can win some life.
You know what? I think this is fine because yeah, now I'm going to play Ashok. Oops, one sec. This might be a spark harvest. <laughs> okay, okay. I see what's going on. I see what's going on here. You smash my Ashiak. And then you mill me, and then this makes Aid the Fallen worse. That's a problem. That is a little bit annoying. I might have to sideboard it out. I should remember to do that. All right, so let's know. I don't see a need to use Aid the Fallen now. I can only bring back Ashok. Heal to this. Still don't see any to play the following. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. One, two, three. Finale of Eternity. Well, should have played that sooner. Uh, now let's play with the Fallen, Dreadhorde, Ashiok. Okay, question is, did I actually play a land this turn? I was thinking of killing my own like Iron Bully and then playing Ashiok, but I don't think that's necessary. I think that uh, given that Spark Double is all our opponent has, I don't know why you waited so long on Finale of Eternity. You should have just played it. Uh, 
Kashyak. The art's really cool on this thing. Look at this. He's missing like the top half of his head. And let's just play Harold to kill him real good. Okay. And do we want to change anything? I'm going to sign thirst. I don't want to play Swan's Thirst, but I think our Yak is still good, so let's just play it as is. Bolus of Citadel could do some work. All right, this is actually really good. Again, all I need is a Laza Tap Reaver, an opponent's Mulling, down a five. I think we got this, yeah. Okay, so hope you enjoyed it. Uh, unfortunately, our opponent couldn't even uh, put up a second match, but. Things happen, and uh, see you guys next time.